Yo, what is going on part-timer Zach here in today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new event coming to punishing greater than Nona Ouroboros we're just going to be going over some of the new stuff and also talking about some of the things that I recommend from the shop and essentially how to grind out some of the different currencies so basically I'm not going to cover too much about this because I just have a pretty good image guide here for you but border pack is going to be a brand new mode that they essentially added so what you need to know is if it's red you are attacking if it is blue you are defending basically the image guide will give you everything that you kind of need to know about it so again i'm not going to touch too much on it but basically what you need to know is that it's split into a couple different teams so if you go into here and you're attacking you can see an overall reward for clearing everything you can see that you actually have stage rewards it doesn't cost any stamina here if you go into battle preparation you have a couple different teams and essentially what happens is as you go through a different stage you deploy each team and you play as them essentially so anytime that you die as a team though so for example if you get all the way to the end you are one tanabi and you end up dying you end up having to go all the way back unless you have the bp that it recommends for each of your constructs meaning even the ones that are supports then you're able to use cogs to essentially reboot from there you have a max of 10 reboots so that is just kind of the idea of going over this if you guys need a little bit more of an in-depth guide definitely let me know we can jump into it so jumping into the actual event here you're going to see a lot of commonalities here so you got your chapter you got your interlude if you want to go for chrome that way he is in the shop which we'll talk about here in a minute and then you can jump into your missions the main difference here between this one and internal engine is you actually don't have that story mission at the beginning you just have your currency mission that you're going to be working on your different currencies it is 50 at least the average essentially is going to be 50 that you get from each stage and you do have a chance at these hollow tickets so those tickets are basically going to take you into the abyss the abyss again is just going to be where you get your guaranteed six star memories and you need four of them to enter now i have been able to get to eight essentially and for some reason it won't actually let you run it more than once so you do have to run it four by four but it's not really that big of a deal but this is essentially where you get your guaranteed six star and you can see that you get some different rewards as you kind of pass through those and then this last one here is actually going to be if you're really hurting on memories and you want to kind of grind for them you've got a certain percentage here and then you have 100 percent after the eight time clearing to get your guaranteed six star memory now the cool thing is they did add the shop currency here but from my experience it's going to be like four or five currency so it is quite lower when you compare it to like the currency mission essentially but it is kind of a good way to go through here and get some memories if you are kind of lacking on that front now some of the other similarities the authority level is going to be here so you can kind of progress through this now the main difference here is the fact that they actually got rid of the cap so if you do have a lot of stamina built up you are able to kind of progress as you want you don't have any daily caps anymore you're just able to kind of go through it as fast as you want and as much stamina bc that you essentially have to do so now i don't really recommend using bc for your stamina but that's definitely up to you and how you want to do it and again you get your rewards as you go through the different authority levels and you get some different missions as you can see as you progress through some of the different things as well so so before pulling down the xl i do want to talk about this this is essentially going to be the roguelite again now the main difference here is the fact that you have eight attempts and again you can only use one team essentially a day it does reset every single day and then you have your constructs to the right here that kind of give you an upcharge essentially as you go through it they give you buffs and whatnot so just pay attention to the different teams that you're making now talking lastly just about the different shop stuff i do think this is a pretty generous shop and i'll kind of explain why when we go into the xl you can see that you have a couple different things in here for example the chrome which is how i recommend grabbing them and you can do some different things for the dorm and gifts and now you actually have a wide variety of some different memories here so it's not just the highs in here you actually have Istina on this page anyway if you go over to the north market you can actually see that you have hannah and Patton. so essentially if you're looking for patents that maybe you missed for alpha or just hannah's or anything like that in general you're going to be able to do it so it gives you a little bit more variety essentially when you're going through some of the different memories Alrighty, so here on the xl i have everything kind of laid out the same way that i did for internal engine so essentially what you need to know is the stage cost is going to be 30 for the stamina average currency that i was able to get essentially is going to be 50. now i did change the daily amount here because usually i did 160 but a lot of you guys and the other guys kind of gave a good point which is essentially that you get 60 from your dorm and you also get 60 a day from missions so i did go ahead and put that in for a grand total of 280 i divided by that by the stage cost and then i times that by the amount that you get every single time that you run a stage so basically every single day you're going to get 467 currency the tickets are random i would say this though for the hollow tickets they are a little bit more generous i feel like at least in this one from my experience i was able to get them a lot more readily and it didn't seem like it was like one in every 10 it seemed more like one in every three or four there so it definitely seemed a lot more common than the tickets in the other event essentially and your authority is again going to be 50 but no daily limit this time so you're able to kind of go through it as you see fit which is really helpful especially if you're jumping onto it and you just want to burn through all that stamina that you had all those different packs and whatnot it really does help out talking about the shop exchange here so this is going to be the column for the currencies this is how much currency it costs this is the amount that you can get daily so if you dedicated an entire day of that 467 amount this is how many you could actually get in that entire day so i don't know how many of you guys actually just dedicate to like skill points or something like that but i just wanted to get an idea of essentially if you wanted to go really ham on it you definitely could so one of the things that i wanted to kind of give out is going to be the skill points here because this is going to be a little bit more generous than a lot of the different events that i've seen 
so if you are a little low on the skill points i would recommend grabbing this patch because these are a little bit more cheaper than i've seen in quite a while but talking about cogs here you can actually see that they have the pack here again for a hundred thousand and you actually get nine of them a day for nine hundred thousand but oddly enough they actually have cods for two thousand which you can grab as well but they cost one currency essentially and you can grind all 467 currency for that for 934,000. so it is a little bit better essentially if you're dedicating an entire day to cogs to be able to go through those cog packs and get a little bit higher there as you can see comparing the cog pack to the actual cogs themselves so moving on from the cogs here you can actually see the weapon enhancers and all these other kind of mats are actually pretty competitive in comparison to some of the other events as well i think it's a pretty good time to grab anything that you kind of need skill points being kind of one of the better things to grab because this is a little bit on the cheaper end like i said earlier you can actually see your hyzens all that kind of stuff so obviously you can only get one of these a day because they do cost 380 but it just give you an idea of essentially kind of going through there so talking about memory info this is essentially just broken up in the fact that if you wanted a 12 stack of any of the different memories that they have to offer you can see it's 4560 for the overall currency for the stages and it would take you about 12 days in order to get that here's the stamina cost if you guys are interested in that and then total set cost so essentially if you wanted to get a 12 set of each one of these what would it cost you it would cost 18,240, and it would take 39 days now this event is a little bit longer but i still think that you're not going to be able to do every single set essentially if you just go by the fact that you only have 280 stamina a day but if you do have some of those charge packs essentially for your stamina you could definitely do it if you're looking to get a 12 pack of each one of these i don't really recommend doing that i would just kind of grab whatever you need essentially but that is kind of how everything's broken up i just wanted to give you guys an idea of essentially what to go for and what some of the different alternatives were if you're going for some of the different things that seem a little bit more efficient but anyway guys i'm gonna call it there have a good rest of your night guys peace